Hey folks, Quillateen here, and welcome to another Battlestar Galactica board game night here with Briarstone and Trilisium, Aruma, and Knorr. Say hi, everyone. Howdy. Greetings. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and I can only imagine how many people were screaming at us at the end of the last video that we forgot to jump, or we forgot to pick a destination <sighs> card after the jump. Mm. If we don't mm -hmm. jump, we don't lose any fuel. <laughs> That's true. It was also pointed out that we could potentially could have used preventative policy to reduce the fuel loss by one on the jump turn, which if that works that way, that's crazy to be good. Fair, to be fair though, we'd have to combo it with uh, engine room so we know that we'd actually jump. I suppose that's so, true, but you know, it's safe to suspect, or we could combo it with an yeah. FDL controller. Or yeah, FDL like. controller. Yeah, that's actually true. FDL control works well as well. Oh, you could use it to reduce population, jump, and you wouldn't lose the population as much. That's yeah. true as well. Yeah. So, uh, Admiral, Admiral that would be Ty, you have to choose yeah. the policy. Draw two of the destinations and see what happens. Admiral did not used to be a Cylon Ty. Here we go. Excuse me? <laughs> what does that mean? I'm saying you weren't a Cylon, but now we don't know. Okay. So... I know what one of those destinations is, so I'm expecting you to pick the other one. Interesting way of putting Pop it. Why is it not zooming in on these cards for me? Sometimes it doesn't. I want it. I can't read them. They're too small. Not you zooming in the destinations. Class. Just yeah, you can zoom, zoom in. in on your player board. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I want the game to just have a good interface. Graphical yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> this is a native Java thing with no like love given to the UI in any way whatsoever. Okay, so you you know one of these then, yeah, but not the other. I know the top one of the destination decks, so whichever one you drew first. I don't remember which one I drew first because I moved them around trying to zoom in. Oh, well, then anyway. you won't have to deceive me because you're not a Cylon, right? Correct. But mm -hmm. still, what if one... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Just don't be a Cylon and pick the best one. Pick I'm trying... I, I'm, I would if I'm reading. <laughs> talk about... Talk talk amongst yourselves while I read. <laughs> so, so we should probably execute Saltai. We should have left it in sickbay and then just executed him. I think it would have been for the best. <laughs> I think execute is such an ugly word. I feel like okay. re relieve of oxygen. What about terminate? sounds nicer? Jettison? Jettison's good. That okay. Let go. I, we um, just let them go. Okay, yeah. so I don't dis I discard one card, or do I just return it to the deck? Uh, you put it at the bottom. I hold on, I don't remember. It should say it on your admiral card. No, maybe not. Discard. Return to bottom of deck. Hold on, I gotta double check. It just says draw two, choose one. So I guess the other one's discard. Place Probably one at the it. bottom of the deck. Yeah, because the whole okay. thing is that we, we can't know what the other card was. The deception right. thing. So oh, put yeah, one yeah, at the we bottom. Discards, don't we? Okay. Well, this one is the one that makes the most sense to me. So we're going to play that card. Oh, Tilling Planet. Oh. I will point Ooh. out there's a very interesting thing. If Ty stops being the Admiral, I'm pretty sure D is the next in the chain of command. Really? Admiral D? Yeah. What? Really? Okay. Anyway, Tillium Planet, oh. what do we got? It's only one dis one distance. Right, but, but the fuel... See, that's that's e the one I saw, and I was like, not pick that one, because it's one. But there's a chance of gaining a whole bunch of fuel. But we're not right. we're not bad on fuel. Well, yet, in any case, we lose one fuel right now. Admiral, would you like to risk a Raptor? I would, yes. It's a good roll. Okay, before we roll, does anyone want to play the card that gives you plus two to a die roll? Hang on. Uh, yes, I do. Excellent. Actually, uh, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Well, then we can't fail, right? That's right. You can. You need to roll a one, I think. A, a one would still end up in three, which is yeah, success. Uh, yeah, it is a success. Yeah, we can't fail. Yeah, okay. can't fail. Yay! So Yay. now our fuel goes up to nine. Yeah, we didn't get a lot of distance, but having the fuel is actually quite nice. Mm -hmm. Right, and I figured just to explain myself here. The last time we did have fuel issues, and so I'm just trying to preemptively. Yeah, but it gives more fuel. time for Quill to screw us over. <laughs> wow, is D well, ever a Cylon? I can't, I can't tell you what the other option was, but I can just say it was worse. So, Well, speaking of someone who got a 1-1 one, one last time and no one believed me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you've, you've been exemplary conduct so far, apart from your drunkenness. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now it is my turn. I've already drawn my cards. So we're going to have awesome presidential stuff going on here. Let me okay. grab my player card. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move over. Wait, I'm already on Colonial 1. I forgot about that. I'm in the Quorum Chambers. That's great. 
so let me figure something out here. I think I would like it if on Kara's turn she starts in space. Not that it really matters so much because there's no actual opponents there. Hmm. I was going to XO, but who the hell would I XO at this point? No one. Unless you want Not to that move. I have an XO card because I can't reveal what I have in my hand. Well, I mean, you could XO me because I have things I could do. Really? I'd like reveal. Well, uh, I mean, maybe. There's a couple things do we have do we have uh, an option that we might be able to repair some of these damaged vipers? Yeah, that's certainly a possibility. I do draw engineering. And who is that? D? Yeah. You can I tell by my feminine voice. I don't think I want to XO you. No offense. <laughs> In fact, I think I think I may just pass on this this turn then. Ooh. Okay. I could do a Roomba and he could just launch some more ships or something like that, which is never we a bad need one thing. one ship to launch because we're out of Vipers we need to repair. No, we do need to repair. I do have... If, if I oh. XO you, D, do you think you would have a productive turn? I think that I could do at least something with the turn, yes. All right. So here's what I will do. I, luckily, I'm a forward thinker, so I will, uh, I will happily XO. So, there you go. D, do your thing. Okay. Now, it's so tempting to use that to put you in the brig. Just be hilarious if he's your own XO. Uh, but no, I will go to the hangar deck. And I will play... Boop. Repair. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to repair, of course, the good Vipers. Very nice. The good Vipers. It worked in my head, but then I started saying... <laughs> Do, 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 good vibe per mark. Five, no, two syllables. <laughs> okay. See what I mean? so, and discard yeah. that. Discard that. Now, when I do an executive orders afterwards, I can activate the location that I'm in. Oh, sweet. Mm, so yeah, I will nice. activate the quorum chamber. So first thing I will do is draw a quorum card. This worked out pretty well last time. That gives me... It's a really okay. powerful turn. That gives me something. What I will now do is I will play Probation. Oh, what does that I do? I give this card to any player. After he plays cards in the skill check, I can discard this card to look at the cards he plays. So I can just sort of put Probation on someone. And then okay. anytime I want, I can take a look at what cards were added to the skill check by that player. Yeah. So I'm going to keep that on D. Sorry, D. Yeah. No, no, I knew you were going to because you want to cast suspicion on me to get rid of your own Cylon proclivities. Yeah, see, all these accusations, this is what I don't like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like the sort of behavior a Cylon would do. So I guess it's crisis time now. Oh, water shortage again. President chooses. Hey, that's me. Minus one food. Wasn't it minus two food last time? No, it was minus uh, one. Yeah, it was minus one. Oh. Because not that hardly seems that bad. Um, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's the same as last time. It's yeah. an easy choice. Well, it was the thing is, it would cause me to, at this point, basically lose all my cards. And last time it happened, it was on someone else's turn. It was on Romo's turn, and I was going to, to act next. So I was mm -hmm. going to draw cards. Now I would be losing, basically, half my hand. Which is a fair point if it wasn't for the fact that food is our lowest resource yeah. and we've only jumped one. Actually, I would be losing my entire hand because I'm yes. the current it, player. It, it would it would borderline um, kill us. It would be the road to death. Sorry to interrupt. I don't understand this pursuit track thing on the Silent Fleet board. Uh huh. Um, I was just looking at it and I messed with it. Set, I advanced it and then put it back and it says yes. number two. Did we do number two? I don't remember yeah, doing anything. Yes. We're, it's in the right place where it is right now. Yeah. Okay. We uh, I placed a c civilian ship. Oh, okay. I just missed it then. My bad. Yep. I have so many good cards, too. <clears throat> this it still seems like an easy option. I, I, it's, I, it's a really I, easy option. I, I'm not sure that that's true, because it means going from probably succeeding on two other crises because of my awesome, awesome cards to yes. potentially failing on them in exchange mm -hmm. for, you know, just one food. But looking I, ahead, I will go ahead and discard it if that's what uh, people, you know. I listen ahead, to people. I'm a good president. Looking ahead, I'd say drop the food. 
Uh, we silent. don't have a Tom Zarek this time around, so we yeah, don't have those... the ability to just buff the food, which we does do. suck. E even, even if someone has an ability that can put our food back up one, being on food six, regardless, when we've only At jumped one, one space, yeah. is, is really, nine, really it? bad. Oh, it's mm -hmm. not. Is it no, nine or six? six? Yeah, we it's haven't gone very I said far, my lowest five. one, I thought that was a nine. Oh, yes, I discarded a four, a four, and a five. Mm -hmm. Crazy stuff. The things I do for you people, you better appreciate me. I have to discard what? Nothing? No, nothing, nothing. Oh. Because it's so, current so player, far, yes. and I'm the current player. So uh, now we have to, it's base star's fire, which means we don't have one on the board, so we have to roll. It's location two, so another base star goes into location two, which is the bottom right corner of the board, and we advance the pursuit track. Eey. Yeah, this is looking bad. And there's no jump. The Discard. All so right. I just want to mention um, right quick, when I did say lowest the last time, mm -hmm. I thought morale was the lowest, but however, it seems that food was the lowest. Which is why but, I thought you said food. You said the lowest. Which is why I started with food, but then I looked at it and I was like, oh, wait, that's a nine yeah. for whatever reason. And then I said morale because that was an eight. Oh, no, it's a six, the food. We do tend to lose morale more than food. Like right now, if, uh, arguably, they're in the same position. And I'm more afraid of morale because if morale goes low, I die. Well, true, but, you know, you have an excellent president. You know, we can keep the morale up. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Plus, uh, because you're a Cylon, when you die, you'll just be reincarnated on the colony ship or whatever. Th that's true. See? No problem. All right, Starbuck, draw your cards. Go, go. Uh, yes. Uh, let's uh, draw some cards. I have a very interesting um, mind set because I look to the left and I see Starbuck smoldering her look at me. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna draw to hand. Uh, I'm going to draw an engineering card again. So I'm not drawing a, drawing a green. And I guess I should have a quick look at my cards and see if I have anything fun. Uh, why? Hang on. What was that? Mm. Okay, actually. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I am. Well, I have two things I can do. Either I can jump into space where I can't really do much right now. Mm hmm. Uh, which is an option, but considering well, the situation, I, I will I've, make one suggestion or one comment, yeah. just in case it wasn't clear. If you are in a space sector with a civilian ship, you can activate to remove that civilian ship from the board. So yes, you could maybe pop into that. there and then remove this from the board. And mm. theoretically, D did look at this one and moved it down here, which means it might be like a population ship or something. Not saying that's your best move. I'm just making sure that's, you're aware of the options. I would say yeah, it's probably a good idea. I can't even remember what's on that ship, but I think it was something valuable. Hmm. Not crazy well, valuable, but valuable. So it's not food. Well, well, I can't say, but it's it's valuable, but not crazy <laughs> valuable. Some ships do have double things on them, in which case they're like super powerful. We need them ships. Yeah, okay. That's true. Okay. Well, let's let's do this then. I am. I'm going to put myself in a fancy viper. Uh-huh. And since I am in a fancy viper, I get to activate uh, I get to Or you can cag. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I should cag. Yeah. Uh, uh another viper out. That's a good uh, idea. And I'll take the other fancy one. And I can't remember what's what the fancy ones, other than them they being double a lovely... Move and they are minus one to kill? Yeah, they're harder to kill, and they move twice mm -hmm. as far. I'm wondering if I should put it in the other spot, then. Just to split them up. That's probably um, fine. It'll give you more reach around the board. You can literally get to any any spot on the board. Except for the fact that we are going to move that civilian ship away. And the only thing we've got to worry about is more civilian ships appearing there. Like, you can always place them there once we've escorted that one away. And in that space sector to the left, all we have is a heavy raider, which won't attack you, so the defense and the movement does nothing. And uh, we're risking a valuable ship. True, but more ships that are in the area with the heavy raider means an increased chance at downing it, since you yeah, do need, like, a normal seven or eight. And it's less, less of a threat. No, well, it's always better to have the better ships out. I, I think I'm, I'm going to keep them like this. Um, I think he's acting like a Cylon. Why and... would you not want the better Vipers out? That because is you use the good ones when you need them. Okay, and that should be that should be all I can do, right? I think that's all I can do. 
You you got up the hangar deck, which means you get a free action. So you have two actions. You ha you cagged for your first oh, right. action. That's right. So I can actually I can escort. I should be able to escort this civilian ship here, in, right? Yeah. yeah we'll do that. So let's do that. Let's get that out of here. Uh, um, how come? How come I can't right click this ship to move it anywhere? Uh, same here. I guess I can you can just move it back it? on the pile. I can. Oh, move. Put back I can on return the to game box if you want me to. No, no, not the game box. Reshuffle it. I oh, reshuffle. Boop. Yeah, that's weird. I've noticed that every now and again, some of those uh, they break oddly. Yeah. So that should be the end of my turn then, and all that's left to do is draw a crisis. Crisis. <laughs> that, that's all we have to do is just get a crisis. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's mm. one that I can't do anything to. Sweet. Even to despair. Oh, fail is minus two morale. No, no. And even plus nine is lose food and draw three treachery cards. You know what? Boy, if only I could help with a skill check, guys, but I can't. You know what? You know what? This is a bad card. Let's not do this one. Oh, you're going to yes. do your Starbuck thing. Draw a new yeah. one. Good. Not Totally not a Cylon. Yeah, good Good play. Draw it's early to one. use that, too. It was necessary. We've had a... It's very bad. So far. Had so it you're been... Playing had a new had it been population and food, I wouldn't have, but those are, like, even not passing that would have been bad. Here we go. So, oh, instead... Oh, that's not terrible. Uh, well, that's interesting. Even on a fail, it's only a 50-50 chance of losing population. I'm on the other hand, elect fail. you can just discard four skill cards. Let's... Well, I'm going to look at my cards quickly. So well, it would take more than... Yeah. It would take more than four skill cards to pass. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Cheaper to do it this way. Although it almost guarantees that you will be useless for the next. So we'll have Leah Dama and both Starbuck not able to really help. Yeah, yeah that's kind of a lot. Future checks. Like, on the other hand, if... if we try to complete the skill check, it probably means you know a few of us will be weakened or things. Or we could just choose okay. to fail it and then roll. If anyone's got the plus two to the dice roll. Well, I had one. Well, okay, we'll so uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Uh, oh, I'm last. Okay, so here's what I think we should do. I think um, we're going to do the skill check, and I think we should fail it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Will it die? If four or lower. It's... I feel like it's the a risk one in five is worth chance it. If we got the plus two, it's eleven population. It, no, it's worth the risk. Yes, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Yes, he, that's yes. why I'm, I am saying we are doing the skill check, and we should. We should not, not try to. Anything. Yeah, just yeah. just tank it. Oh, I see. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, uh, D is the first person putting cards. Pass. Okay. I will also pass then. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Romo. Passing. I have no cards, so I pass. I'm passing. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got a treachery card, which would have been negative five by itself. The current player must choose a human player to draw a mutiny card. And another treachery card, which is place two raiders in front of Galactica. So I'll put the raiders in. And so someone has to draw a mutiny card. You must uh, choose. But choose uh, wisely. Uh, to do... do, do. D. Get oh. to draw a treachery. Uh, mutiny card. I was actually suggesting it's going to be me because I'm next turn. Don't you have to choose a human player and he's a Cylon? Oh! Ho, 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 but I don't ho, 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 think it says. Oh. <laughs> you do have to choose a human, but right now everyone Shots is officially fired. human. Yeah, like in the uh -huh. last game as Hilo, I was human all the time. Sure. <laughs> That's true. Okay. He never actually revealed. Um, no. Not a hard reveal. So. From the Dreda's contact card, I put two raiders in front of the battle star, but also we get a raider activation, which means I'm going to roll and place one on the board at position four and advance the pursuit track. The CAG has to place two civilian ships, and we're very close to the Cylon fleet jumping in with two base stars. Yeah. Um, uh, should I? Should we roll for the... We can roll for the population after I place the ships. Uh, oh, right. So I am going to place the uh, civilian ships where we actually have uh, vipers out. That's a good idea. So oh, oops, one here and one here. 
We have to remember, we do we have, have one in the back, although it is guarded technically right yeah. now. I'm um, sorry, I'm confused. Why are we advancing? Why are we doing ceiling ships? Because the Cylon fleet pursuit track was advanced. Yeah, which adds two ceiling ships. In the oh, first okay, okay. All right. third Got position. It. Yeah. Got it. I see it now. Yeah. I just didn't realize. Yep. And we move our jump track up one, so we're getting there, but we're going to get attacked before we leave. Yeah. And uh, when we, uh, for the actual roll, I'm going to play that. Strategic planning. Okay. Right. So we need a two yeah, nice. or greater to not lose anyone. And then I'm going to roll. Boom. Nice. Well done, Starbuck. Good mm -hmm. call on the card. So we don't lose any population. And we didn't spend any cards. Excellent. Now, D does have a mutiny card. It'll be interesting to see what that is. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to play it straight away. However, I'm also tempted to use the engine room on Pegasus. Ah. Well, first, draw your cards. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's not a terrible idea. No, and being on Pegasus means that once the fleet actually warps in, you're in a decent position to do bad things to them. Yeah. I mean, the alternative is I can use my communications to move those three civilian ships, which... Isn't terrible, but they are guarded at the moment, so it's less good than maybe it would normally be. Yeah, so, I don't think there's a critical need for that. And my hand is now way over hand limit. Mm. Way over you hand You only limit. discard at the end of the turn, though. Yeah. I'm actually having a real hard time reading them because they're uh, they're clipping over the edge of my box. Yeah, you can yeah. double-click them to sort of undock them, and then you can move them around. Okay, and then I can create two layers using the trick Rumba said. That's true. So if I drag them onto each other, they should stack. Yeah! Thank you, Rimba, for that. Mm -hmm. And if you want to reorganize them, um, you can just drag them on top. And like, I, I have mine in order. Like two, three. Uh, sorry, I can't tell you. <laughs> I have cards that have points, and they're ordered. That's good it's to know. Nice. I like it when people have cards that have points. Yeah, they're in order. That's my point. Good okay, second. right now I can see the last one. Play before. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna flip to Pegasus. Okay, so you have to discard and I'm a card. Discard. Yeah. That. Okay. And then, now I need to keep Pegasus up at all times. Right, so I'm now in charge of the Pegasus because I'm apparently the only person there. Woohoo! Sure. Well, apparently you're the second ranking military officer going on here. D would have been an amazing admiral. I can't believe you're outranking me. <laughs> <laughs> and me! Well, the president well, version of Leodama. If I yeah, was playing the, the version, version gives up. I would be. Yeah. yeah. I quit the military. Um, right, discard two kit skill cards and um, actually I want to do something slightly weirder because I'm really tempted to do the jump thingy but I actually want to do two things and I don't have it. I was wondering... Soltai, have you got anything next turn that you desperately want to do? Um, well, I, I, I'm planning on doing... I, I'm assuming that the, the Cylons are going to jump in. So I'm planning on helping out with a card. Okay. I don't know. I can't, what if can I reveal? If you could XO me, that would be really helpful. But uh, yeah, I'm going to activate the location and discard two skill cards. So... Discard and discard. Mm, two less okay, and I'm down to my hand limit. And that means I can treat the next crisis card as if it has a prepare to jump icon. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were over car your, your hand limit, so discarding all this stuff's not so painful. Nope. Yeah, so I discarded three cards and I was like, meh. All right, go ahead and crisis it up. I will indeed. It'll be really awesome. If it doesn't have an icon, we'll be like, yeah! Oh, I have an icon. Oh, well. Just keep food exoing me. It's fine. God damn. Everything's attacking our food. Food fight. President chooses minus one morale and roll a die. If three or less, draw one civilian ship and destroy it. That's or really bad. two food. I think we well, have to take the morale hit. Here's the thing. Uh, here, here's the thing. I don't like using my once per games in the pre-sleeper phase. Because... You know, like you, you want to have those abilities in the second phase when you know for sure if you're human or silent or something like that. Mm -hmm. That being said, playing, you know, fully properly human right now, I think Liadama would choose a different path right now. Oh, because he wants to destroy my hand. 
Oh, it's current I'm... player. Oh, hold on, hold yeah. on. My bad. I, I thought it was me. I thought I would discard five skill cards. My hand is empty. It was going to be the easiest thing in the universe. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll choose that. Oops, discard everything, huh? Uh, never Honestly, mind, then. Yeah, I think we should go with the one morale, and then I I think someone, maybe, could boost it to a, a two plus on the roll, a plus two on the roll. Yeah, I, I agree that uh, the first choice is better. Losing one morale. We generally have more morale. As the president, I, uh, you know, everyone loves me. I'll keep morale high. Don't you worry about that. Everything is groovy. Mm, so I choose okay. that. So right away, minus one morale. And uh, does anyone want to play a strategic planning? Yep. Ooh. Ah! Oh, oh. Whoa. Wait, no. no. Oh. You never saw that. I'll keep it. Mine, I'll keep mine down. We'll, we'll have to use it uh, maybe vocally next time. Okay. So we have a strategic planning, which is plus two to the die roll, which means we can't possibly fail. Yeah. Um, Yay. We didn't fail. Actually, that's not true. A one on a this one card would, it would have, a one yeah. would have resulted in a three, which actually would have destroyed a ship. But we're yep. fine. Okay. But so good. we're fine-ish. The problem now, though, is on the time of fleet silence. board, we a yeah. activate. Oh wait, hold on. No, I'm wrong. We have raiders on the board. Oh actually, yes. I f that up last time. Because I forgot the Dreadus contact added the raiders before I should have put it on the Cylon fleet. Um, should we just let it stand for simplicity? Uh, we will let it stand. Yeah. But because uh, ultimately it won't really make a huge difference one way or another. I think it'll yeah. be fine. But we have raiders on the board. I forgot about that. So they'll actually move down here because that's the closest civilian ship. And then do nothing. Technically Hooray! what would have happened, they would have been here already. They would have fired. But it would have changed so many of our turns. So we can't go back now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we advance the jump prep. There we go. And we discard the crisis. And so, it is Ty's turn. So we're one jump from one one jump prep from actually jumping or two jump preps? Two. Two. One more prep and we could easily jump with FDL control, only risking one population, which isn't Except bad at then all. We know we'd be fighting a base star and all that stuff. I actually think we want to trigger the base star before we leave. Just so Ideally, we can yeah. track. And mm. this talk okay. exactly, this talk is one of the reasons a lot of people don't like the Cylon Fleet board, because it allows you to sort of like meta around the fleet and it's not the sort yes. of surprise sort of tension, right? You're like, yeah. let's delay the jump. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now we jump. Or now they came in. Now we jump now. Let's you make better gaming decisions, but can reduce the excitement a bit. So that's why it's yeah, like, it's a religious though, The RNG is a little bit higher and it's a bit... Yeah, huh. It is, okay. definitely. You can get definitely screwed. But I believe our timer went off, didn't it? It yeah. did. Uh -huh. So before Ty takes his action, I guess we'll put a cut in here. Thanks, okay. everyone, for watching. And uh, make sure to check everyone's channel down below, of course. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Stay shiny. Later. See you soon.